Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and this is a ghost hunt that you get to go on with me. So my husband and I, before we left for Florida, were watching TV and found this kind of cool show to watch about haunted highways in America. And one of them was talking about I-4. And because we'd already been planning our trip to Florida, we were really interested in kind of like figuring out what we could find out about the area. But of course, we didn't do as much research as we really wanted to do. And there wasn't any really particular like, oh, exit here and look at this or anything like that. So it's kind of like, okay, we're driving through it. And you can see the images of us driving through this area of Florida. Now, when I got home, I was able to do a whole bunch more research and find out really where is this negative energy or where is all of this energy coming in from. So one of the things I did was I did the research because there's not just one reason why ghosts stay in an area a lot of times there's many reasons especially when someone really disturbs graves that can be one of those like that's a big no-no so when i got home i started doing some research so um, florida in the 1800s was trying to colonize this area of florida and here's an image of the people um, that kind of came in. Um, it was a small group um, from Sweden, and they had a religious leader. Well, for whatever reason, the religious leader um, was called down to go to Tampa for whatever reason. And while he was down there, he passed from yellow fever. And I don't think they'd been in the country for all that long. But it also was devastating his people back on the land as well and that was one of the things is people started getting afraid started getting terrified and that energy stayed in the land and um, so many people were passing from it a lot of times people weren't really being buried um, properly the way they should plus they didn't have a religious leader to kind of help them with that part of it so everybody scatters um, and then about a hundred years later or so, um, another city kind of takes over this land. Someone else buys it and the farmer, Farmer Hawkins, um, actually finds the little graves. Now he decides at this time to leave them alone. So he leaves this little patch in the middle of his, uh, farming area and just leaves it alone. He never touches it again. And, um, it kind of came to be called like the dead field um, in that area, it was known because he just kind of left this little swath in the middle of his farm of just leave it alone no matter what. <clears throat> so many years later, um, Farmer Hawkins passes and his wife um, decides to sell. She's kind of hearing these stories about Walt Disney and the world that's coming in and kind of like, I want to ch make these changes. And so she sells the land. Well, when the people get to kind of build Highway 4 close to where she was. They also, the day that they open up those graves and start putting more dirt on them, all of a sudden, a huge hurricane hits. Hurricane Donna is one of those humongous um, hurricanes. Does so much devastation and so much um, impact and damages and loss of life, not only for Florida, but many other places along the way, um, that they also start feeling like this land is cursed because of this. Now let's start getting back to the story at hand. So because of all of that and kind of the swath that kind of um, Hurricane Donna does, there is so much damage in this area. And, um, a lot of people from that area to kind of decide to kind of leave the, you know, leave that area. Um, but it's one of those because of that um, fear that's already in the ground that causes it. These graves being disturbed because a lot of times like those people, because they didn't feel like they were completely buried properly, were kind of just waiting in the ground. And that kind of brought all of this energy up as soon as they started um, disturbing the graves. 
Um, so as you see, it's one of those right here between the first telephone pole and the second one. Um, there are two little girls that come out um, in this area. There is, um, it's hard to tell by their dress because they don't have shoes on. They have just like a white dress on, which a lot of people were buried over centuries in white outfits. Um, kind of sanctifying like their purity in Christ. Um, it's one of those. Next, as we get to this um, sign where it has all the food on there, shortly, like right between that and the telephone pole, there's two gentlemen standing there. And I will tell you that it's not necessarily um, the, the people that are haunting that area. It's the land. They're not settled in the land because of the fear, the anxiety, the frustration, all of that kind of stuff. The land isn't able to be settled the way it should or could be and so because of that all of these ghosts don't feel settled in there and then you also of course like almost and anywhere in the united states or anywhere in the world you have people that are kind of actively working that area um you know serial killers other people serial rapists all that kind of stuff in this area in particular and because of that like these people that pass in this area whenever they're attached to the land or they pass on the land their soul is really not finding a way to be calm, cool, collected, or even be able to deal with any of this going on. So that's kind of the sad part about it is they're just not finding the rest. Now, one of the things that I also get is we're going over the bridge right now, but because of this area, a lot of people in this area will not end up staying in this area for very long because the negativity will get to them or they end up having divorces is one of the things that I found that was really interesting. There's a lot of divorces in this area. So right where this truck is about to get off and as he starts to make that turn to go off um, near, the fo uh, near the poles, um, there's a young man standing there. Um, there are several ghosts shortly thereafter kind of um, right where the truck is passing now and then right in front of the truck. So it's constantly... Um, this energy of the land is affecting everything else that's going on in this area. And like I said, it not only um, is bad for the land, but it's bad for the people as well. Because this is an area of Florida that has so many car wrecks. This area is like, has more wrecks on this um, area than any almost any other highway in the United States and I will say it's because that negativity in that area that it causes the ghost to be unrestful therefore the people are unrestful in that area as well so it's just kind of bringing up more and more um, as we pass this sign and we get to this wooded area um, there are several um, young men and women in this area and I feel like they were placed there or put there by a young man. And I want to feel like like early 20s or so um, in this area. But because a lot of people don't really venture off because Florida has so many alligators um, and that sort of thing in different parts, a lot of people don't really clear out the land like they used to. Usually they just kind of fill it in. And so instead of clearing out the land and finding any of these dead bodies or anything else, they're literally just putting dirt on top of them, which makes them even more unrestful in that area that activates them um, not being to be able to be at peace or be at comfort when um, they pass. So that kind of just adds even more negativity to this land than anything else could possibly do.